The battle is on. <laughs> there's sun today. The past few days have been really, really rainy, and uh, we did want to get the roof painted on the van, but we haven't been able to because of the weather. So today we have a semi-sunny day, and we're gonna get to work. I mean, it's a nice view to have your coffee. <laughs> I do kind of want to go paddle boarding first. We'll see. Leave him alone. Waking up in the mornings from Glenard, the lawnmower going under the van and going kudunk, 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 kudunk. So the plan for today is a little bit of paddle boarding, a little bit of working on the van, and getting the, uh, the deck looking nice because mom and dad get here tomorrow. I'm a little bit anxious about the seagulls because they've been a little bit nuts this year. Things have gotten better since we put the bird thing majiggy up. They are kind of flying at me though. Oh, we're getting company. Bailey. Hey, water dog. Bailey, come on. Come here. Come here. Come on. Good girl. It's funny, this is the antsiest dog I have ever owned. But when it comes to water, she just don't care. One dunk later. <laughs> You're still happy. You going for it? Going for it. Come on. Bailey? Bailey? <laughs> that is one happy dog. She is just nuts. Bailey? Bailey? Bailey, come here. Good girl. Okay, stop. Stop. Today the project is to finish the uh, blah, 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 blah. Come here. Wet dog in the bed. Better wet dog in the bed than a dead dog in the... David. What that means is we're finishing the roof. So we're starting with grinding everything down and making it all nice and smooth so that we can take care of any rust in the gutters, clean everything out, and then paint it. With everything smoothed out and nice, we are taking a break to go to the store and get a few things for when mom and dad come. We're in the store and getting things ready for mom and dad to come. But I just want to point out how serious Finnish people are about sauna culture. They have, if you want to make hot dogs while you're in the sauna, there's also, what was it we found? Fountain. Or if you want a little fountain that you put on the sauna rocks and it boils up to a beautiful bubble. And of course, you can't be without some, I think that's, yeah, it's eucalyptus and birch branches for 
both the smell and I know that my grandmother said that when they were little, they would have to go out into the woods and like get birch, birch branches, but for the sauna and for getting spanked. We're being sneaky and getting ice cream without the kids. You know what this is, David? It's what we've learned from Bluey. It's romance. Oh, it's this romance. is romance. We're having romance. <laughs> what flavor did you get? Um, licorice and um, caramel. Hmm. No. no, that's the same as yours. Or what's that? So caramel pecan. Pecan. Yeah. I had the caramel pecan in the bottom, and then uh, mudslide chocolate. I love that they're not stingy when it comes to the sizes of, <laughs> of scoops here. It's crazy, but you kind of have to watch that it doesn't fall over. So, mom and dad, they're coming in two hours. It's been very different to be alone here. My aunt and uncle were here when we first got here, but we've spent a bunch of days now where it's just been us. It's been really nice. It has. I thought it was gonna be hard. I thought it was gonna be really difficult because it's always the entire clan when we're here together. We're usually like seven, like around 20 people, which is a lot of people. But it was really cool. It's been really nice. I'm relaxing, which has been something new. So we head on home and it's time to pressure wash and get the deck nice and clean because the seagulls have been making a home, like literally been making a nest on the deck. The battle is on. Yeah, Cheryl Crow has not been doing her job this year because there is seagull poop everywhere it's amazing what a difference it makes though and how satisfying it is to pressure wash I am desperately trying to remember <laughs> how mom wants the carpets out here on the deck David has power washed everything and we got all of the seagull crap off, which is so nice. It feels like a totally new space again. Um, but I'm not sure where, where everything goes. So I have two of those carpets and then this one that's bigger. Wait, there's two and then there's that one. And those three are the same size. And then there's the big one. And I'm not sure where that goes. I'm thinking under the table, but I think it's, it, I don't think it's long enough. Maybe we should just wing it. It's funny, we've never been first here. It's always been mom and dad. And by the time we get here, they've put everything in order and everything looks nice. So <laughs> you finally realize everything that goes into them fixing the place up each season. I think that we've decided that the big one goes here and the two smaller ones under the table. I know that there are pots somewhere, but I can't find them. Mom and dad are supposed to be here in like 30 minutes. And now it's raining. The weather was supposed to be nice today. Obviously it's not. It's a little bit frustrating with trying to plan things like yesterday we started. We, uh, we started on the roof, but we were planning on today being a nice day because that's what the weather app said uh, and then we were going to paint today but I guess we're going to have to postpone that again. We were also going to have to get out here on the deck when they came. 
I guess we're gonna have to move everything inside. No rain, huh? I think it's decided that we're gonna do inside cinnamon buns and coffee. Honestly though, it really doesn't matter because this is super cozy and we're just happy to see mom and dad. Oh, and have Smurf drinks. Looking good, kiddos. <laughs> With mom and dad and the rest of the family having been in the US all summer, we have so much to catch up on. And man, we missed them. It is just, uh, it's so good. So good to be around them again. Being here on our own is great, but sharing it is special. With the rain finally giving us a little bit of a pause, we're taking the opportunity to work on that roof. If you do like these videos, make sure to click like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. Now, before we can paint, we need to clean the gutters out and get rid of the rust. Well, that's satisfying. Through the years, the old weather stripping has shrunk and hardened and it just, it just needs to be replaced. We ran out of the, the gray rust primer, so we have to take the uh, the red one. Look, and it looks kind of uh, right now, but it will be fine. So today we have grinded down and cleaned out the gutters, and uh, and then done rust eater, and now we're doing the rust priming and then we're gonna paint. Now that mom and dad are here, we wrote dad into helping us prime. Dad signed the car. She's so pretty. I am really happy that we finally have this area over the windshield done, all the rust gone and just everything primed and, and painted. We do need to do another one or two coats of white, but we ran out of paint and, uh, and we're going out to eat. So we're gonna have to take that another day. It feels great though that we have gotten as far as we have and we're really, it feels like we're starting to see the finish line with the van, which is crazy, at least for this season. Thank you so much for joining us in this week's episode. We'll see you guys back here in Finland with the van and the fam next week. Bye-bye.